Hello, Bucky here once more, and I just um, yeah, I just wanted to share um, uh, a few um, small tricks that you can do to Im really boost your performance in uh, X-Plane. So the first one is um, actually exclusive if you have uh, Nvidia graphics card, but uh, nonetheless, this is a really really nice little trick because it um, improves your M FPS for me it improved uh, I think 30% or something like that and it's the threaded optimization you need to turn this off because I don't know why but it really brings down your FPS a lot and uh, I also read that uh, power management mode can have an effect it was I think an optimal power from the beginning but yeah, put it some maximum performance uh, uh, as per uh, recommendation. And uh, yeah, it bumped my FPS up from uh, like 22, 30 in, in some, uh, yeah, like in general. It was a 30% uh, or I suppose 50% improvement. Um, and uh, the second. Um, uh, second uh, tip I got is uh, this process lasso and um, I'll try to find the, the link to this and um, include it in the description otherwise I will link to another video that uh, that uh, introduced this to me <coughs> and basically this is uh, it uh, helps with the uh, processor management something like that and um, what it what you do is basically to um, uh, you go to this main and you make uh, gaming mode enabled and then uh, you launch explain um, and classify as a game and uh, then you um, make it uh, run on the all cores always select CPU affinity and you mark all these and um, I think that was basically everything I did yeah I think the, the main was, thing was to classify it as a game and uh, um, enable gaming mode and I don't know if it adds a lot of FPS, but somehow it uh, smooths out uh, the the look of it. You know, it's like uh, there's uh, you. It, it's a if if, if uh, you get rid of micro stutters or something like that, it, it just feels like it runs a lot smoother, and I suppose it extracts some performance from your computer as well. So, yep, it's basically these two. Mm. I suppose I can um, I can talk a bit about my explain setting as well. Uh, I have a fairly slow computer, so I f the, the 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 most important thing is to keep the reflection detail down at minimal because as soon as you start raising this, uh, your FPS drops or I don't know. I'm not sure that your FPS drops, but uh, the performance or the, you know, the it's not as smooth at all. So it really makes your um, it really bogs down the performance basically. So you have to keep it on minimal unless you have a super powerful computer. And uh, also, I have uh, an aliasing in. Uh, uh, in the lowest setting because I found that um, if you use uh, a reshade um, which is this uh, add-on uh, you um, you can actually use this thing called SMAA and this works it produces the same result as anti-aliasing you know that it uh, smooths out um, the edges of things so it doesn't look as uh, as um, you know, as uh, pixelated or what you want to call it, but it doesn't per uh, 
uh, reduced. Um, it's very uh, nice on your uh, sy uh, system performance, so it doesn't get a very b big loss from this. So I use this instead of anti-aliasing SMAA. My settings for it is looks like this. Um, yeah, so that's basically all I had to say, I think, about um, improving performance in X-Play. Alright, thanks, bye.